On Sunday, 12 February 1809, a boy was born. He was going to die many years after with the pains of a bullet. But even before that happened, he was going to have a terrible adulthood. In the year 1832, he lost his job. He tried to contest for a registry, but he also lost. In 1833, his business failed. And in 1835, his lover died. He had a nervous breakdown in 1936, and he was defeated in another political contest in the year 1938. While he had very few successes in all these years, his failures were numerous, but by the year of 1960, he was elected to be the president of the most powerful country in the world. The above story is about Abraham Lincoln. And the lesson there is very simple. The greatest men among us are those who have failed the most. Elon Musk said, if things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. In other words, if you are not making mistakes, you are not growing. If your life is too smooth, it will end up in disaster. The real name for success. When you look at the life of an average human being, it's usually desire to try as little things as possible. Just to avoid every possible mistake is about playing it safe, is about playing not to lose. For successful people, however, is about going for it, is about fighting for your dreams. And that's the reason why successful people always have more failures and mistakes than people who are failures. Show me anyone successful today and I'll tell you that such a person has experienced a lot of failures than the average people. That's why the real name of success is after several failures, because that's the way it is. You only become successful after you've gone through several failures. And if you're afraid of the, such a pain that failures bring, you might as well forget about the success that you seek. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. If you are not failing, you are not growing. If you are not failing fast, you are not growing fast. The world of luck. In the year 2016, I discovered a new business idea which no one else knows about in my entire country and I met some few friends, I was able to raise more than enough money for my business idea. Even the first few months, my life was changed. And this business eventually gave us enough money to start another business and another business. The above story is true and it sounds a lot like a stroke of luck, right? Yes, it was stroke of luck. But there was another side to the story that I have not told you that it was before I met that luck. I sacrificed 8 years long in my life looking for it. I started out in the business world on 24th July 2008 and for the following 8 years all I knew was failures. So shall we call my breakthrough after 8 years of bitter luck? Yes, it was bitter luck but don't forget this. Luck only comes to people who look for it where it lives and that is in the wilderness. Think about this as warfare when you shoot a bullet at your enemy, well that single bullet might kill him. But the chances of that happening are mean. What if you shot 10 bullets? What if you shot 100? Then you increase your probability. The same thing happens when you want to achieve success in life. When you try once, your chances of success are lean. When you try 10 times or 100 times, then you are likely to be lucky because one of your bullets is likely to hit your target. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. Massive Failure and Success Awaken the Giant Within is a great book written by Tony Robbins. In this book, Tony writes some of the attributes of the most successful people in the world. And number one of those attributes are massive failures. Like Abraham Lincoln, most of the successful people in the world have to go from one failure to the other for several months, even many years. What happens during those times is that you become smarter and smarter, unlike what our society makes us believe about failure. Failure does not mean that we are down. Thomas Edison said, I discovered 10,000 ways not to invent the light bulb, but people said that he failed 10,000 times. Failure show you how not to do something, and the more feedback you know about how not to do something, the more insight you know about how to do it. That makes it simple. If you are not failing, you are not innovating enough. If you are not failing, you are not growing. How to fail forward. There is another great book I would like you to read. 
It's called Failing Forward by John Maxwell. Failing Forward is a great book that tells the stories of 10 or even hundreds of successful people all over the world and then shows us how these people became successful. So it turns out that people who become successful are people who actually they are things that are actually bigger than themselves and because of this they almost always fail several times and when all these people fail they keep on trying until they become successful and then they keep falling forward. Reading a book like this tends to open your life in the reality of life and this in turn changes the way you think about life in general. As for me, because I read a lot when I started out in the business world, when things don't seem to be working, I just tell myself, well, everyone who has achieved success has endured a lot of failures. Because I study a lot of stories of people, it is very easy for me to see failure as a normal thing. And whenever any human can interpret anything as being normal, he or she can easily endure such a thing or even smile through it. Sometimes, as I was watching a documentary about some guys who were born as a slave, believe that it was normal to be a slave and suddenly because that was the only life they only knew the reason why most of us see failure as a bad thing is because from our childhood everyone around us has been always criticizing us about making mistakes what I recommend for you is this sit down and read biographies of people who have achieved greatness in life you don't have to read 500 pages biographies if you don't like reading you can read short biographies and summaries which come from other non-fiction books. I studied the lives of other people who have achieved great things. You will see that these people almost always go through hell before they go to heaven. And this will help you to endure your hell. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. If you are not making mistakes, you are not growing. One big question now I have to ask you is, how many mistakes have you made in the last 12 months? How many times have you failed in the last 5 years? If you are not making mistakes, you are not making progress. If you are not failing, you are not growing. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel. And if it is your first time on this channel, consider subscribing and turn on your notification bell so that you can always be notified every single time we post a new video. We love you.